top ranked beaches, coastal mansions, breathtaking views, and Disneyland. That's Orange County in a nutshell, right? Wrong. People have an idea of Orange County, mm -hmm. the people who don't live here. Right. And I think two shows changed that. <laughs> Their MTV show, yes. The Hills, and then the Bravo show, The Real Housewives of Orange County. How much of that is the real Orange County? Of course, any myth, there's a grain of truth in that, but um, by far that stereotype doesn't really match my experience here in Orange County. There's much more to Orange County than, than what that would portray. I mean, Orange County is a much more diverse and interesting place and uh, a lot of different things to do than you might expect. A little more than 3 million people live in the OC's 24 cities. Just as many tourists travel from all over the world to visit the OC, the county attracts so many international travelers that the Tourism Board has even opened offices in Beijing, Shanghai, Tokyo, New Delhi, and Mexico City just to keep up with the demand to visit this destination. Every year, more than three million people visit Orange County for one reason, the beach. And right here, Main Beach is one of the best around. No place represents Laguna Beach better than Main Beach, which is nestled along South Coast Highway. More than 20 beaches and harbors are in this county. In fact, this veteran yellow cab taxi driver says, no matter how you sell the OC, most tourists want one thing. They want to go to the beach. And they asked me, which one is the best? I said, hit Laguna, hit Newport, Dana Point. They all have beautiful views. But Orange County beaches don't have a monopoly on majestic views. Local luxury hotels have that and much more. You guys have got world-class hotels with some world-class amenities. Talk to me about some of those hotels and the things they offer. The Pelican Hill Resort, and that is just a, a five-star um, award-winning resort here on the on Newport Coast. We have um, the Montage down in Laguna Beach. We have the Ritz-Carlton. But if you look beyond the premier beaches, five-star hotels, and upscale shopping malls, you'll also find this. The Anaheim Packing District is a wonderful location. That's definitely one of my favorite spots and has become very popular. You can try everything. I mean, it's it's uh, everything from gourmet popsicles to uh, wonderful barbecue, craft beers. You can taste wines there. There's even a speakeasy inside that they hide, but don't tell anyone. If comfort food isn't what you crave, don't worry. The OC still has a long list of healthy food hotspots. Ethic Gratitude, you go there and it's a, basically a, a, a vegan vegetarian bias, but you would never know it by the right. food. I mean, you, it's just completely satisfying and the flavors are just wonderful. So chefs here definitely are, are conscious to that. I know here at Lighthouse Cafe, they have many dishes that are like that, that are um, locally sourced. After dining out and getting pampered, make sure you cruise Balboa Island. And I would make sure I visited Balboa Island. Uh, which is a wonderful spot. It's a little residential That's island. That's a little gym. A lot of people don't yeah. know about Balboa Island within the Newport area. You've got to try that. Okay. Now it's one of the most popular places, one of the exclusive places to live. Marine Avenue is kind of a little shopping district down the middle of it. You can go and have a Balboa bar, mm -hmm. which uh, is a signature dessert in, mm -hmm. in Newport Beach. And, and just get some saltwater taffy, you know, the, the classic beach experience. Be decadent. Yes. <laughs> And if you want a little history and heritage before you end your trip, head north. I think that San Juan Capistrano is kind of our signature historic spot in Orange County. That's the home of the Mission San Juan Capistrano. Capistrano is this beautiful place where you can experience old town, old California really. 